A century-old tradition is taking place today on the House side of Capitol Hill. It's the office lottery for the 54 new members of the House. This tradition goes back to the construction of the Cannon Office Building, which was the first time House members got their own offices. Today, of course, the senior members occupy the best space, so the leavings are left to the freshmen. <laughs> Well, before the lottery, many of the new members showed up with their aides to scout the available space in the three house office buildings. I'm trying to rank the room uh, by what we, w we looked at some yesterday, and I have a certain configuration that I like better than others, so we we're ranking the rooms by the configuration and also by the view. I like the rooms that are on the outside more than I like the ones that face into the courtyard. Mr. Chapman has selected six. When the lottery began, members were called up alphabetically to pick their numbers out of a box. The lower the number, the better the office. The higher the number, well, you got the leavings. Ms. Dahlkemper has selected 53. Oh. Even though every time a low number was drawn, it meant those still in the lottery had a worse chance of getting a good office, good sportsmanship prevailed. Mr. Peters selected his number one. And after the lottery was over, the members took their maps of the office buildings and hit the marble floors to search high and low for the office of their dream. Can you go into Cannon? One more. So you drew number three. Uh -huh. You called your husband and you woke him up? I woke him up to tell him I had gotten number three. I was excited about it and I never expected to do it. I figured whatever office I have will be fine. I'm in Congress. Why is it so important to everybody to have such a nice, to get the nice office? Well, I guess there are certain things that you want to look for, a window to the outside. Uh, I didn't want a separated suite. Uh, and I guess access to an elevator and a restroom for your guests and those kinds of things. They're all three suites. It's not going to make a whole lot of difference. Yeah. Look, we've gotten two desks or two uh -huh. couches in here, and we've got one, two, three, four, five, six chairs in oh, here. Oh, yeah. Um, our member likes it more casual, so that's why we have it set up like this. Uh -huh. um, and then, of course, you have your own closet again and then your mm -hmm. bathroom. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know if you saw the other way. Okay. Um, I like the setup like that. This, like she said, this wall can come out. Mm -hmm. And then the other big plus of the office is we have closets in every room. Oh. So you have your own office uh, supply. Is that un well. unusual? Very Some unusual. of them don't? Yeah. Oh, well, I better do not. write that down. Um, I'll have my list of three, and then if either of the anyone gets chosen, I'll still have one left. And I will be in the Cannon building, and it's close and convenient. It's, has the old charm, makes me really feel like I'm in Congress.